So when I was 12 years old, I got diagnosed with severe idiopathic scoliosis. I had to get 10 vertebrae fused. Vertebrae T2 through T12 are one bone now. The surgery entails having metal rods put into your back. The first doctor I went to told me that I would never climb again. I was pretty devastated. Growing up, Kyra, um, she just had this way about her. She had a, she had like a, this spirit that she wanted to, like a confidence and wanted to do things and wanted to figure things out her way. Whether it was climbing on top of the fridge or climbing on top of the play structures, she, she just wanted to do it and you couldn't stop her. I mean, that started as a baby, you know, um, climbing up the, up the slide. There you uh, go. You go up the slide. Kyra first started competing when she was 11. She was just destroying all the climbs. was just part of who she was. So Cairo uh, did not want to stop climbing and the surgery was not going to stop her from climbing. She wanted to be the record for how fast she got out of the hospital. So they needed her to go up and down a flight of stairs before they were gonna let her out. We were in that stairwell uh, trying to get up and down those stairs uh, and we did it within four days. And I believe that is a record. Kyra Condi, it's good to see her moving though. She's doing great, she's a hard worker. Kyra fights from the beginning to the top. Yeah, I think we'll be seeing a lot, a lot more of her in the years to come. Kyra Condi, she is definitely a threat to win this. This is what we want to see, fight. All eyes on Kyra Condi right now. And in first place, our national champion, Kyra Condi. Coming back to climbing after my surgery, even though I wasn't as strong as I was before, I knew I could get back to it. So I really focused on learning how to climb without being able to bend or twist my back. I always like to say that climbing is 99% failure. Learning to deal with that failure and learn from it is one of the biggest challenges of climbing. You have to be able to not let those failures ruin you and instead have them make you stronger. So coming out of her surgery, um, it took a year or two for her to get back, and I think once she did, she was sort of unstoppable. Here she goes, yes! And she does it with a one-hand catch and, and a top for Kyra Condi. Kyra is probably the most determined person I've ever met. To go through what she went through and come back from that and sort of elevate and literally climbing her way to the top, I can't think of any other elite level athlete who has a fused spine. I would describe Kyra's climbing style as uh, strong. There's just no better word for it. A Kyra's style is not like other girls' climbing style. I've heard 
commentators describe it as reckless abandon. She really holds nothing back. She's never intimidated. I've heard people say I'm uh, nerve-wracking to watch. I think it's a style that she has sort of adapted because of her back. The way I learned to climb with it was to get better at just straight pulling power. Her movement is limited and she knows that. But you get to the top, which is what matters. No part of her says give up. I mean, she gives it everything, every time. Olympic trials were in Toulouse, France. Good morning and welcome to Toulouse. It's so exciting for her, I was a nervous wreck. This is the Olympic selection event. We've got 22 men and 22 women taking part. So of course we're just like pretending like it's not the biggest day of her life. I don't think it's exaggerated to say this has got to be the biggest moment in Kyra Condi's career. Six minutes begins for her and off she goes. All the other climbers before her were very Elegant. Went with the left hand, then chooses to go with the right and says so she's got that real snappy, fast climbing star, Kyra Condi. She did it like completely differently than how a lot of the other climbers did it. Surviving move by move, but she's pushing on and she's now heading into the roof. Full on brute force. Fighting with everything she's got, grimace on her face. Pure determination. The Olympic dream for Kyra Condi depends on the next 30 seconds or so. Just need to keep on fighting, there is so much riding on this. She made it. She is going to the Olympic Games. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so proud of Kyra. I mean, to have worked that hard and to make it happen here today. It was always in her to be the one to do it. She's going to be an Olympian. She's going to Tokyo. Kyra Condi. I've been getting the question a lot, what does being an Olympian mean to me? So I really want to be somebody who people can look up to and be a good role model, uh, especially to young girls throughout the world. You know, a 12-year-old girl with a passion. Uh, like I hope people watch and want to be on that same stage as me someday. <laughs>